Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's just going to be a short sort of tutorial um, for kind of an easier way to sort of check what's on what drive in your system, like storage drive, um, and how much specific programs are taking up on that drive. Um, obviously, I know you can do this through different ways on Windows, but this way it's just easier. Um, I know Jay's Two Cents has also done a tutorial on this, um, but I thought I'd whack one up on my channel for people who watch my channel as well. So it's this program here, it's called Tree Size. Um, I will post a link to where you can download this from in the description below if anybody wants it. So basically, what you want to do is make sure that you run this as administrator if you want to make changes so if you don't know how to do that you right click on it and then you go run as administrator and then you will have a pop-up come up just click yes on it and then it comes up like this and obviously it looks empty because you haven't looked for anything yet but if you see in the top left corner you got select directory now if you click on that it comes up with the list of your drives in your system um, so like if I click on my F drive, which is my M.2, you'll see it comes up here, like the size of the drive, what's allocated. So as you can see, my drive is literally full, uh, 693.7 gig. But you can see specifically what takes up what size. So like my Steam library is 201.2 gig. Assassin's Creed Shadows on its own is 150.3 gig. So on and so forth, Battlefield. So it's a good way to see exactly what's taken up what space on whichever drive you're looking at. Um, it does also tell you down here as well. Um, but this section might confuse a lot of people and you don't really need to look at that part. Um, that's just basically telling you, like if you look here, like how many files are in certain directories and stuff like that. Um, I just tend to shrink that down. Um, <clears throat> obviously, you don't want to mess around with too much stuff, especially in your C drive, because you don't know what you're doing and you delete the wrong thing and it's a Windows, it's part of the Windows like boot requirement and your system won't turn on or won't boot into Windows or whatever. Um, but yeah, you can basically right click on things specifically. If you click open, it will open that file, as you can see. Um, and then like obviously you can send it to different places you can delete it so on and so forth um obviously when it comes to games i wouldn't recommend just deleting your file you want to actually uninstall the game first which obviously you don't use this program for um but yeah it's just a, it's a handy it's a handy little tool if you kind of want to know what's taken up what room on what storage drive um cause sometimes the windows one can be a bit dodgy sometimes it will list stuff that used to be there but isn't there anymore but it still lists it i've had that problem a few times with windows whereas i haven't had an issue with tree size um so yeah like this is a, a free program there is a paid version but you might as well just get the free one there's no point on the paid one um yeah, so that's all there really is to say about it. Um, like I said, it was just going to be a quick video on it. Um, but it's a handy program to have if you're interested in having a look in detail at your storage drives, I suppose. Um, so I'll leave the video there. Um, I will have some more videos sort of coming up soon. Um, obviously, like I've said in previous videos, it's more difficult for me to get sort of things to review um, because the channel is not big enough that companies send me stuff to review um, so obviously I have to buy it myself but with Christmas coming up and stuff like that and I've got kids Christmas is expensive so I don't have as much spare income at the minute to be just buying stuff um, to be reviewing but I'll get bits here and there and then obviously in the new year it'll pick up all over again um, but yeah, uh, if you wouldn't mind 
hitting that subscribe button, that'd be great. Uh, we have now actually passed the hours for monetization on the channel. Um, we just don't have the subscribe account. Um, first stage is 500 subs and then full monetization is 1,000. And we're at, I think, 181 at the time of recording this. So yeah, if you want man hitting the subscribe button, that'd be great. Helps out the channel a lot. And for now, guys, I will speak to you all in the next video.